How you doing everyone and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be my top 5 locations to go to Malta. It's been a while since I went but I had to make this video. It's also been a little while of my last upload when I went to Malta but finally doing it now and this was a video that I definitely had to do as soon as possible. It is coming out a little bit late than I expected it to but let's get into the list. Before the 5 places I recommend I'm also going to mention some honourable mentions about the place. It is a small island so you can expect to get from one side of the island to the other in about half an hour 45 minutes that's by driving distance it's really useful if you can rent a car another thing for honorable mentions prices are very similar to european prices some areas might be a little cheaper than others but the majority will be similar prices compared to anywhere in europe i would also recommend visiting this place for game of thrones enthusiasts there's a lot of locations that game of thrones came to shoot in malta and one place i would recommend is the medina gate in the small town of Rabat and also going into the old city as well and there's so much more places where Game of Thrones actually shot their scenes like some places in Gozo there was a couple of places in Valletta and you can definitely check them out online figure out more places but right now let's get into my top five recommendations of Malta as a whole so at number five we're gonna start with the capital city and that is Valletta now with Valletta you can get around quite easily there's a lot of public transport to use you can go around by taxis cars the capital city has a lot of hotels restaurants all sorts of shops but the main thing to see is the main bit where the cannon is fired at 12 o'clock in the afternoon you can take a boat ride going around the coast the main city gate entrance there's so many great things to do in Valletta and for me it's definitely something I want to go back to and just explore more Valletta is number five on my list at number four we have the Dingley Cliffs now at first when you go to a town of Dingley there's a lot of things to do while you're walking around you have a lot of churches and cathedrals in the town of Dingley it was just so nice it was quiet there was nice restaurants about and from the town to go to the viewpoint of the cliffs it is a little bit of a walk like a 15 minute walk but the view of the Dingley cliffs was really incredible I remember when I was up there we were on the same level as the clouds it was really nice especially when you go on a bright day as well the water is just really blue the best time to go see the cliffs for me would be at sunset it's an amazing place and I definitely enjoyed my time while being there now my third choice is going to be the island of Gozo now when you're going to the island of Gozo you would have to go there by a ferry if I remember correctly you don't actually have to pay anything to go to the island of Gozo but when you're coming back to the mainland of Malta you would have to pay a fee to get in so you can technically go to the island of Gozo and just stay there if you don't want to pay anything to get back into Malta but there was a lot of things to explore in Gozo what I explored was the citadel the citadel ruins in the town of Victoria we also spent some time at Ramla beach which was really nice the weather was really Really good and you can definitely spend a couple of days there just to explore the whole island it's really beautiful especially the ferry crossing as well it was really nice just to sit back and enjoy the views but definitely list it down when you're visiting Malta now my second choice is going to be the town of Marsha Schlock in Malta that is like the main fishing port and the main harbour it's definitely a town to go to and have some fish and chips I absolutely loved it it was just so peaceful so nice so many restaurants about it was nice to walk through it's a very quiet village it was just very peaceful peaceful and that's the thing I enjoyed about it the most. I definitely recommend visiting Marsha Schlock. And finally my number one recommendation for the place to visit in Malta is the Blue Grotto. This place is absolutely amazing. The view from the top when you're driving down is absolutely stunning. It's just something like out of a movie or fantasy and it's really easy to get to. Make sure you definitely take a boat ride there if you have your own rowing boat. It's definitely really good to explore the underwater caves just going around the cliffs in general it's really refreshing while you're down there definitely go on a sunny day the water being so blue the breeze in your face and it's the thing i enjoyed the most while i was in malta definitely experiencing the blue grotto even if you have a chance to swim in the blue grotto if you have the chance to go scuba diving definitely take that chance it's something i missed out on last time but if i have a chance to go again then i'll definitely take it next time that's it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you will be notified when the next video is out there's gonna be more holidays coming soon i've got some things planned for this year definitely another big holiday that's gonna be coming towards the end of the year i don't want to give it away too much and i'll also continue to do small holidays and doing daily vlogs as well thank you all for watching and i'll see you very soon